Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from uh, NET 2020 June examination and it is from classical mechanics problem. So problem is uh, very simple and very uh, easy. There are uh, one particle which is moving on a paraboloid. So I think this is the shape of paraboloid and uh, I can say this is X axis, this is Y and this is my Z axis. So this is uh, shape of paraboloid and in the problem, uh, the examiner had also give us that uh, equation of paraboloid that X square Y square is equal to AZ. So this is equation of paraboloid and particle of mass M is constrained to move in a inner surface of paraboloid. And obviously there is gravity also in Z direction. It's a very natural thing. So what we have to do, we have to find how angular velocity. So suppose particle is rotating inside this paraboloid and it may come downward also. So if it is rotating and suppose that angular velocity is omega, then how this omega is proportional to function of Z. So how omega and Z are correlated to each other. So this is a problem we have to solve. So obviously <clears throat> it's a very nice problem. So we can solve this problem into uh, cylindrical coordinate. So first we will write the Lagrangian into cylindrical coordinate. So what is my Lagrangian? My Lagrangian is half M R dot square R square theta dot square and plus Z dot square. And we have gravitation energy as minus MGZ. This gravitation energy as my potential energy. So this height is Z and we can put the coordinate R theta and Z. And uh, yes, there is equation of constraint. So first we have to write this equation of constraint into polar coordinate because it is given in basically Cartesian coordinate. So when we will write this thing into polar or cylindrical coordinate, we can have X is equal to R cos theta. So in cylindrical coordinate, we can have X is equal to R cos theta and Y is equal to R sin theta. So when we will write this thing, then we have R square is equal to AZ. And then we can easily put the value of Z dot and uh, the value of Z dot is nothing but 2 R R dot by A. So we can put all this equation here. So Lagrangian is all about half M R dot square R square theta dot square. And this value is 4 R square R dot square. We can put it here by a square minus mgz, z is equal to obviously r square upon a. Now this is Lagrangian. Now if we are seeing this particular Lagrangian, then we can see that theta is my cyclic coordinate. So if my theta is cyclic coordinate, then del L upon del theta is equal to zero, which implies p theta is constant. And what is this p theta is identified as angular momentum. So when we are going to calculate the angular momentum of a system, then del L upon del theta dot is my angular momentum. And this value is M R square theta dot. And this angular momentum is constant. So I can put some constant value J. And let's say this is this constant value J. This is my angular momentum. This is constant. So here we have theta dot is proportional to 1 upon r square. So here we can easily have theta dot is proportional to 1 upon r square. But in the problem, we have to solve that how my theta dot or angular velocity is proportional to z. Then we can easily replace this r square to this particular z. So r square is proportional to z. So what we can have, we can final answer that theta dot is proportional to 1 upon z. So this is our answer. 
yes if you know what is cyclic coordinate you can easily use the conservation of uh, momentum or angular momentum and accordingly you can give the answer so from my point of view if the particle is rotating inside this particular paraboloid whose equation of constraint is this one then obviously the angular velocity theta dot is proportional to 1 upon z so this is simple question but yes it has little bit concept of cyclic coordinate and lagrangian formulation the most important thing is that you have to write this lagrangian in a very appropriate coordinate system such that you can give the answer in a very nice way thank you